Bjorn Ranheim. Uh, I'm here with the Sheldon Online Music Academy at the Sheldon Concert Hall in St. Louis. And today I'm going to talk to you about sound production on the cello. Uh, in particular, I'm going to focus on the right arm and the right hand in looking at bowing and pizzicato. Um, obviously, the way we make our sound is through this tool, the bow. And there's so many different ways that we can use it to get what we're uh, going after and to be true to the composer's intentions. Um, composers are quite meticulous in expressing to us in their music how they want something played. Uh, they may have nothing at all above a note, but then they typically will have a line, a tenuto marking, maybe a dot, an accent, all kinds of things, and different gradations of them as well. And what this does is it shows us as musicians that yes, we are interpreters of this music, but we also have to be true to the composer's intentions. The only way they have, many of them uh, that are no longer with us, to get in touch with us and tell us what they want is through this music and this notation. So I think in my uh, approach to music, I try to be as focused on uh, breathing life uh, and intention into those markings while also trying to be an artist and express my own uh, interpretation. So it's a, it's a fine line, but the, the two points are not mutually exclusive. I think that we can really do both. So one thing I would like to talk about and just show uh, some, some differences, I'm gonna perform just an opening phrase um, of Foray's Elegy for cello. Now, this work um, starts off, uh, whether you're playing with piano or with orchestra, um, starts off with a few orchestral chords, and then really the cello has the ability to set the tone. Um, and you want to capture the audience. You want to show them the intensity and depth of feeling uh, in a piece like an elegy, which is really kind of an homage to somebody who has passed. And so what I think about when I start this piece is how can I come out as a soloist and then in the second phrase, how can I back away from that and shed that same musical idea in a different light completely. And so you'll see in my right hand that the first time I play, I'm going to try to be as intense and focused as possible. And then the second phrase, I'm going to really be very light and floaty. And I think this is something that we can find a lot of room to do, especially in French music. So at the end of this, I'm barely touching the bow hair to the string at all. And what you can find is from the very beginning, when I was very intensely into the instrument to where I was at the very end, very out of the instrument, trying to get the most airy sound possible. This is just some small example of how big the gradations are in intensity and also in, um, in focus uh, that your bow can bring. And so uh, whether we're playing music of 
you know, modern age or music of the Baroque, there's so many gradations between where we can really focus in on the intensity of pressure uh, as we approach these various, uh, these various works. So, thank you. Thank you.